Hello friends, I'm Rebecca and this is Spiced. Today we are doing another gluten-free vegan recipe and they are these delicious pancakes. And I will share with you the five different ways that I make these pancakes. The traditional way, I make an apple cinnamon version. I've also done a blueberry version and a pumpkin spice version and also a chocolate version. So these are all gluten-free, vegan, so they are dairy-free and egg-free, and they're sugar-free. This recipe also doesn't have any ingredients with hidden MSG, so it's very allergy-friendly. Let's start with the traditional, and then we'll move into the variations. One cup almond milk. You need one cup okay. organic almond milk. I make the almond milk myself, or any other milk non-dairy variation. I'll use one cup of oats. Four ounces of organic unsweetened applesauce. I'm using these little cups because my kids have not been eating those. Two small bananas or maybe one big one. Half a cup of organic green banana flour. I'll show links of the different kinds that I use on Amazon below. And I love, love, love this product. It's great for gluten-free cooking. Okay, then two teaspoons of coconut oil, raw preferably. Half a teaspoon of salt. For the salt, you can use sea salt or whatever you prefer. I used Himalayan salt. One teaspoon vanilla. Okay, add your vanilla extract and you are good to go. I put it in a neutral bullet or you can use a blender or of course a food processor. Okay, first I coat the pan with coconut oil and then I pour the mixture in little pancakes. Sometimes I do big ones. Depends what kind of mood you're in. Then I cook it at low to medium. I wait till those little bubbles start to appear at the edge of the pancake and flip it. For the apple cinnamon variation, I add a cup of sliced apples. I slice them up, chop them up, put them in the batter. I add a teaspoon of cinnamon and then top them with walnuts and pumpkin seeds. Okay, so I added the cinnamon and now this bad boy is ready to flip. Put some apples and walnuts and pumpkin seeds and we are good to go. Yeah. For the blueberry, I add a cup of blueberries, maybe two cups, depending upon your liking, and I add a blueberry smoothie on top. For the blueberry smoothie, I add a cup of wild blueberries, then I add in a packet of organic dragon fruit, and another packet of acerola puree, and then I add some mangoes and pineapples and a couple of bananas, cup of almond milk. Then I pour that on the pancake, with a little sidecar of maple syrup. Ooh, yummy! Here you go. Two thumbs up! Yeah! Okay, for the pumpkin variation, I add 10 ounces of pumpkin puree, or you could add one big cooked sweet potato. And then I add a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. Later you can top it with a little bit of raw coconut and raisins. And you can even mix on top a sweet potato smoothie and I'll show a link to that video. You can put a little bit of that with the sidecar of maple syrup. So they can have a sidecar of each. Really yummy. For the chocolate, I add two tablespoons of raw cacao right into the mixture with an extra banana. And optional, you could add two tablespoons of peanut butter. Mm -hmm. 